Hello there, one and all. You know who I am, E.T. Templar, Supreme Misfit, professional dipshit. So we're going to be reacting to a Destiny clip. Uh, he's landed himself into hot water for his comments. But before we get into that, we have to cover what led up to it. So there was an attempt on Donald Trump's life. And in the process, two other um, convention or attendees were injured. One died. Uh, the man who died was Corey Compertore. And of course, he was a, a, you know, someone's father. He was a fire chief who just retired. So, R.E.P. and made his family find peace. And so, he said, Destiny said, fuck this guy, just because he voted conservative or was at a Trump rally. I think regardless of political affiliation, uh, you would figure you could at least give someone the peace at the end of their life, regardless of their political affiliation. Um, even if a Republican said something uh, like Destiny has, I would be calling out the same, because it's repugnant. But anyway, so let's get into why he's freaking out now. Uh, he's got tons of backlash, Destiny, uh, because he's a violent, uh, merciless asshole, and let's see what uh, what he's concerned about here, and then uh, we'll, you know, get into it. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I I don't know. I just need like a month off, or <clears throat> I feel like I'm going to lose my YouTube channel. I'm not sure. I can't tell. Um, I got a two-week hate speech ban on kick because I cause they said I was glorifying terrorism, <laughs> which is bizarro to me, but... Oh, is 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 the draconian horseshit that you've been pushing for the last eight years? Is the draconian horseshit that the authoritarian door swinging the other direction now, Destiny? Are, are you keep, are you being suspended and banned off social medias because of shit you said? Hmm. I think the conservatives, libertarians, and others who have been warning against this for years, uh, fell on your deaf ears because your brain and your soul is dog shit. And now that that door is swinging the other way. And it's hitting you on the ass all of a sudden. All of a sudden, now you have an issue with it, huh, champ? The, the, when you yourself celebrated the absolute banning, the, the, the unpersoning on social media, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and everywhere else, you applauded it. You reared and jeered. But now that this authoritarian door is swinging the other way, all of a sudden, oh, I gotta take, oh, I gotta take a month off. Oh, ew, I might lose my YouTube channel. <laughs> this, see, to most of us, this is Schadenfreude. Most of us have experienced horseshit censorship. Uh, of the door of authoritarian censorship, right? It's been hitting us. But now that those saloon doors are swinging the other way, all of a sudden, Destiny has an issue, and it's a free speech. Oh, no. Let's see what else this, this guy has to say, huh? Yeah, I have no idea. Um, progressives, liberals, okay? Rise up. Okay, you have to fight the conservatives. Also... This kind of feels like a joke to say. Which most of you, uh, most of the people who follow Destiny aren't. Because, you see, Destiny's mad. He says the fucked up he shit, the, the fucked up shit he said about Corey Compertory. Because the man was loved by his wife. The man was loved by his community. The man was loved by his children. He had a functional life. He was a fire chief. Good man. And Destiny wants that. Even though Destiny, who used to, used to clean carpets, um, Destiny, even though with all his streaming money, all of his political money that he gets, his life is still dog shit. Any woman or girl that was in his life, he opened it up the relationship, he then lost her because the bowl could take her to pound town harder. Or maybe there was actually a shred of masculinity in the other uh, partner. They left him. So this is a guy who has all this political money, all all this attention and metrics and followers all over the place. And even with all that money, he can't buy a soul. He can't buy a character. He can't even buy a woman to stick by his side. His entire life is miserable. I think he has active drug abuse issues that he partakes in, which probably explains why he's such a cringed, unhinged shithead. But... Case in point being, he hates his life. 
And he's mad because he will never see a great socialist uprising that he wants. He'll never see that moment where conservatives, Christians, uh, people on the right are put against the wall and shot. He will never see this in America. He will never have or witness a communist uh, socialist states of America. And that's why he lashes out. That's why I think he lashes out. Because he thinks it's the only thing he can do, and no one's going to resist up uh, liberals and progressives, because they love life too much. Life is too comfortable. Now, if this was 1917s Russia, where you're literally starving to death, you own nothing, and you're freezing your balls off, maybe there would be a revolution. But this isn't 1917s Russia. Is it destiny? And destiny stands. Uh, there's technology, you're too comfortable, the avail availability of food and comfort is too accessible. Uh, and anyways, um, I'm not suicidal, obviously. Are you scared? Is the man who's the merciless bat, the merciless badass who who's been saying shit against Corey Compertory and other conservatives and been per perpetuating and and saying violent speech is all of a sudden scared and he's not suicidal? Well, chief, you've you've made the bed and now you have to lay in it. And I hope you're scared. I uh, everything that's happening to you, the the banning, the subs, the suspensions, uh, the the loss of your Twitter monetization is all because you've championed it in the past against your political enemies. And now that door's swinging back on you. And most of us we find glee in this because again, this is the guy who's pushed for censorship for the better part of eight years against conservatives, right-minded right minded people, conspiracy theorists, and literally anyone else that's not in his camp, or anyone right of center. This man uh, was just ever so um, full of glee when they got banned, removed. And Destiny is a wannabe communist, Marxist, um, radical. And again, to, to close, he is mad because this will never come to fruition. He will never be big cheese of the Communist Politburo. He will never be that Marxist champion like a Trotsky or Lenin. And that's why he's mad any wife or woman he's ever had left him for the bowl. And he's uh, sinking. His brain is pickled in drugs. He's literally a worm. And when you compare Destiny to Cory Compertory, a man who served... Uh, his people, his family, his town, and was loved, beloved, and will continue to be loved even after he's gone by the by and large in the American people. Destiny uh, is nothing, a worm, compared to Cory Compertory, and less of a man than anyone will ever be. And that's why, that's why Destiny's mad. His fame, his political movement, his socialist Marxist horseshit will, will, will never find headway in the United States. And that's why he applauds terrorist, terroristic speech. That's why he supports and says the fucked up shit he does. Because, again, he's a worm. And his communist, socialist ideal, ideology and utopia will never come to fruition. And that's why he's so fucking mad all the time. Even with all the money he gets on Twitch and all these political platforms, he just hates it. His soul is dog shit, and he's just a terrible human being, and now that these doors of authoritarian censorship are just paddling his ass, I couldn't be more enjoyed, uh, because this has been eight years coming from this bootlicking piece of shit. So even among conservatives, Christians, uh, there, there can be political hatred. But uh, with Christian conservatives, they're still in the back of our mind. You reap what you sow and do unto others as you would have them do unto you. So the golden rule. And by that, most people who are decent, not even Christian, maybe agnostics and atheists, can understand that even you can let the dead sleep and have peace and mercy for at least five minutes to grieve the loss of a loved one, whereas Destiny here couldn't afford even that, where he was saying, oh, plus one uh, Biden, uh, plus one vote for Biden in Pennsylvania. So, um... The amount of flack he's getting is deserved because if you're a merciless asshole and you conduct that against so many other people, it's going to come back on you. Again, you reap what you sow and you do unto others as you would have them do unto you. So a a am I going to feel sorry that Destiny's catching some shit? No. 
But then again, if you're a decent person with character, regardless to right, left, Nazi, communist, fascist, there comes a point where you can even look past the political horseshit and go, wow, someone lost their father, someone lost their dad, someone lost their grandfather, a brother lost a, uh, a brother, a daughter lost a brother, uh, someone lost an uncle. So even from the, the, the stance of like human decency in life, that destiny is such a reprobated piece of shit that he had to take glee and revel in the loss of someone who lost their life in an assassination attempt against Trump. And this is why, destiny, that people find you repugnant. You are literally a, a, a handicap for your organization, your pol politics on the left, because normal independents, libertarians, conservatives that see how you act and how your political movement conducts itself, you're actually hurting your political uh, side more because we see what kind of person you are. And anyways, Destiny's also mad that the, the, his vision of a socialistic utopia to repeat is slipping further and further away that again he will never be a part of the politburo he will never be a part of the grave communist socialist revolution against the united states the conservatives the rightists and fascists it's slipping further and further away and he'll continue to abuse drugs he'll continue being a just a retrograde retrobate loser and that's why I think most people consider him a lol cow. Because as big as he can speak, even though he has a gun in the background of his like video, <laughs> that's all he will ever be a loudmouth, just reprobated um fool. And that's all. That's all I gotta say. Hopefully you enjoyed this tea video. See you next time. And uh, take it easy. My name is